this is the start, the creation of my player. Point guard, number two. We are six, we are six four, 175 pound point guard, right? Um, my attributes, right? You got a 90 driving layup, an 86 dunk. Uh, we got that 85 three point up, 80, 80 mid range. You, you can see all of them. 94 speed, you know, 21 finishing, 25 shooting, 26 playmaking, and 15 defensive badges. Now, if you don't know, right, for some odd reason, you don't know yet, because I'm pretty sure I'm like a week late on this video. But if you don't know, right, the way they the way the way that you spend your badge points is a little bit different this year all right so like if i wanted if i wanted to get hall of fame pro touch right i had to spend six of my 21 finishing badges of my total 20 of my total 21 finishing badges to get hall of fame pro touch right instead of the usual four that it for instead of the usual four badges in previous years okay so that's the difference from this year and then um there's other things this year, but you already know all that stuff. So, um, take my two takeovers, ankle breaking shots. You can read about that. Primitive bass drop. You can read about that. And this builds come out to be a two-way three-point playmaker. Yo, 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 Ricky, what's up, man? Yo, what up, MP? Hey, yo, look, good looks on the internet today, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. You trying to play 2K or something? Nah, man, I'm a. Uh... Checking out the analytics on your page right now. Hey, that's why you the manager, bro. Always getting it done. You do know managers get paid, right? I'm more like your mom right now. Oh, no, 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 negative, bro. My mom, she know how to cook. <laughs> oh, well, all of a sudden you don't like ramen? For breakfast? Every day? <laughs> nah. Hey, yo, you know we getting a lot of comments on this video we just uploaded, right? Hold on, hold on, let me go find it. <laughs> hey, yo, look, six foot six trash talker exposed, bro. I told y'all he was garbage, man. He ain't never played no organized ball. All right, yeah, maybe, but then I talk about how you hit that filthy step back in his eye. What they talking about? They're all asking what you about to do next, man. Like, look, why hasn't MP signed with a college yet? Told y'all he's trash. MP skate a real comp or something? Can't stay an influencer forever, son. Like, they just keep going. Man, man, let them ask. Look, let the intrigue build, bro. We just got here three days ago, Rick. Can I get settled in before I have to make some major life decision? Leagues run on schedules, bro. All right, look, it's, it's nice that we're making enough money to pay your rent off your socials, yeah, but... Yeah, barely. But college ball is not gonna wait on MP the influencer to just make up his mind before they start the season. Look, you're not bigger than the sport of basketball, bro. Thank you. Captain Obvious, thank you, Rick. Well, I'd rather be Captain Obvious than Captain Oblivious. <sighs> look, man, I barely even know where the best spots are, all right? How we supposed to have this music and fashion empire if we not even in the local scene? By doing exactly what we've talked about since I convinced you to start making videos in the eighth grade. Establishing yourself as a basketball star. Everything comes off of that. Look, no one wants to start a fashion line with the 15th man on the team. Hey, I, look, I'm just messing with you, Rick. Chill out. Okay, ha, ha, ha. You're so funny. What, you want to add a comedian to the list, too? Bro, no one's trying to be funny. All I'm saying is I just need time to process it. We That's don't it. have time, MP. Unless you want to be a streetball player for the rest of your life, you need to make a decision and you got to make it soon. Okay, let's go over my options again. Great. All right, so obviously the goal is the NBA, but the question is, how do we get there? Now, we could declare for the draft right now and take our chances. Get drafted as an afterthought in the second round, or not at all, ruin my career. Doesn't sound good. Yeah, I'm not into none of that, Rick. Okay, well then we could do college or G League. Right? Okay, since you're still hesitant, maybe you need a new perspective. All right, lucky for you, I got a couple guys lined up that might be able to talk both options with you. <laughs> hey, look at you, Mr. Manager. Way to leverage those connects, bro. You act like I ain't been networking since kindergarten. True. <laughs> <laughs> Look, anyway, I got you a meeting with Che. Play for Porter Che? Mm -hmm. You know him, bro? Nah, he knows you. He's a fan of the channel. I hit him up on socials, he responded immediately. Yo, that's what's up, bro. Look, he said he'd love to talk with you about college. I mean, obviously with him being a four-year guy who went through a lot, 
he knows better than most. Yo, word. Yeah. Yeah, I also got you a meeting with AI to talk about G League. Allen Iverson. Wait. Allen Iverson. No. You got me a meeting with AI, bro? MP, That's some mate. No, 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 what? no. What's the, up? The other AI. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, I get that too. Look, yeah. hey, I saw he was playing for the team Ignite now. I guess he into that whole mentor thing, huh? Yeah, yeah. He's really done a lot of growing up over the years. You know what, man? I appreciate you taking the time to set this all up, bro. That's that's nice of you, bro. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna make no money as your manager if you're selling unlocked cell phones out the back of a barbershop, you know? <laughs> Heartwarming. <laughs> Look, you know, if you want to get a little run in while you think it over, you should hit up some of the courts around the city. I mean, they got some great ballers out there. Good pickup games. Hey, I, hey, look, I'm gonna check that out, bro. But for real, I, I appreciate you putting all this together for me, bro. That's major, fam. Like I said, man, I can't have you flipping burgers. I like burgers, though, bro. You know the ones no, with no, the cheese, stop. the bacon. Go, Amazing, go man. talk to Che. Go talk to AI. Get your mind right, and then come back and we can talk business. So you don't want no burger? No. Amazing, just go. I'm leaving. That made, fam. <laughs> All right, so we got to talk to Che, and then we got to talk to AI in the practice facility. I already know what route I kind of want to take. I already know what route. But it's nice to know the benefits of each. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed. I missed, um... What Hey, all right? MP, what up, baby? Nice to meet you, man. Look, I appreciate you talking to me. Hey, no problem, bro. Your boy Ricky sent over your tape, man. I gotta say, you got a little game. I got a little game? Just a little bit. I, I appreciate mean, that. you could use some work, I'm not gonna lie, but the potential's there, man. I think the G League would be good for you. Put me up on game. Why, why you think that? All right, so check this out, man. Like, the G League is different from when I was coming up. Okay. Like, I didn't have all my stuff together back then. It was, it was a different road. Like, like, you know I'm playing for Team Ignite, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so. Yeah. So we didn't have anything like that back then. Like, it was kind of a every man for himself sort of vibe. But now, Team Ignite is basically designed to help top prospects play at a pro level, right? Yeah. So that's why I signed with them. Like, I want to help the next generation learn the way that I was taught by my mentors. Hey, man, I, re I respect that. I yeah. really do. Yeah. Not to mention, I mean, you're already a pro, so you're free to pursue whatever opportunities that you can get, man, assuming that you can play at a level that sponsors want to look at you. Hey, I, I hear you, bro. What the what the money look like? Oh, it's good. It's good? It's good, bro. That's dope, man. Do you you got any regrets about the first route you took? I mean, not really, man. Like, everything okay. that happened to me is kind of what made me who I am. But I will say, man, it's difficult, right? Like, they expect you to play like a pro, yeah. right? So you got to give it your full commitment, no exceptions. They will cut you from the roster like that. Oof, that's... That's a sense, bro. Yeah, yeah, it can be. Um, you got anything else you want to tell me? Well, you know, G League is way different from college, right. right? Like, you got better facilities, better training, better access, and all that sort of thing. And you need to learn how to train your body like a pro, okay? So get in the gym, get your workouts in, get that muscle up, all that sort of thing. You're going to take that knowledge with you for the rest of your career. Hey, I, I'm always looking for a way to get an edge, man. That's, that sounds good to me. That's good, bro. Well, listen, I got to get going, but if you got any other questions, man, feel free to reach out. Your boy Ricky knows how to contact me. I appreciate that. Look, I appreciate you, AI. Hey, thank you. No problem, bro. Hey, keep working on your game, man. It's a long road ahead. All right, so advantage, advantages to the G League. Um, you can earn permanent 5% mile points. Accelerated to speed up to, oh um, I need to learn how to read, okay? Earn a permanent 5% my points accelerated to speed up the process of upgrading your my player. Pursue endorsements opportunities on off days to earn VC and start building your personal brand. Prepare yourself for the league by playing against NBA caliber talent. Meet with the press to take control of your narrative and practice your interviewing skills. Okay, 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 okay. Can we like stop that, please? All right, time to go talk to Che near the 5v5 court. All right, we here. Oh, I missed. My bad. I missed the, I missed the stairs. Che, right? Yo, man, I'm a big fan. I'm MP, bro. Hey, what's good with your little Woody? Nice to meet you, man. Hey, look, thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Seriously, bro. Oh, it's all good. I'm a big fan of your work. So <laughs> happy to help any way I can. So your boy Ricky said you had some questions about college, right? Yeah, man, look, we just, I'm weighing a lot of options and I think I need somebody to just help me walk through this, this college route, you know? Hey, I'm a big fan of college, man. Yeah. I had my ups and downs, but I ended up staying all the way up to my senior year. Oh yeah, I remember that. But even if I left early for the league, 
I would still recommend it. And why is that? Nothing's gonna help you grow as a player like college, man. You find the right program that really knows how to nurture your gifts, you'll develop like crazy. And the whole point of college is development. <laughs> I like that. You said, you said something about important programs, right? What you looking for there? Well, different schools are good with different things. Some are great with big men. Okay. Some pump out defenders year after year, and others know how to open up your scoring. So it really depends on your, your gifts and, you know, your swagger and where you want to go with it. You got any drawbacks? Obviously, there's, there's injury. I know you saw what happened with my guy, Porter Rose. Yeah. That was my dude. But you can get hurt tomorrow, man, playing at the park. So that really didn't factor into my decision. Hey, look, you speaking nothing but facts, bro. Fair <laughs> enough, yeah. And nothing's like the atmosphere of college, man. What? Yeah, the crowd, the campus. You're like a, a god there, MP. I like that. It's a good way to really get acclimated into the spotlight, man. I ain't really in the shadows, though, bro. I got a million on the social. <laughs> I peep your socials, man. You okay. got it. But look, it's a traditional route for a reason. You want to go to the NBA? You want to be a star? College is your best bet by a lot, I'm telling you. Even after everything that you've been through, you still feel that way? Yeah. Even after what I went through, I wouldn't change the way I handled it. And it doesn't take away from what I learned or how I developed there. How you develop? You keep talking about development, yo. That's a word, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. Seriously. Hey, it's all good, man. Look, if you got any more questions, holler at me on the socials, all right? I got you. Or get my number from Ricky. Let's get some gumbo in New Orleans soon. <laughs> hey, I got you, bro. All right. I believe you. Why is it so dark? Thank you, man. Like, I want to see. All right, advantages to college. Um, jump directly into a single elimination tournament and earn additional bash points by winning the national championship, gain more fans by playing on the national stage and proving you're, proving you're a top prospect. Earn attribute points for the tournament by attending practices that teach you key skills for your build. Maintain amateur status, allowing you to sign with the G League after college. You cannot attend college after going to the G League. So technically I can go, I can finish out college and then go to the G League if I really want to. If I really, really wanted to. Don't know if I'm actually gonna do that, but. Hey, you need to head back to the crib. What's up? Got something important to show you. You're going to have to be more specific than that. It involves electronics. Bet you don't you know I love gadgets. See you soon. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, Ricky. I'm coming. I'm coming, Ricky. Coming. Coming. I'm coming. Coming. What's up, Ricky? What you need? Okay, so uh, what's this? Uh, uh. Okay. What's this urgent matter you gotta talk to me about? I never said urgent, learn to read. No, learn to communicate. Learn to appreciate me. Learn to recognize when your best friend who clearly loves and respects you is just giving you a hard time, bro, chill out. Oh, I love when you get all sentimental, you know, it's adorable. No, 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 I think you mean sophisticated, mature, not afraid to be vulnerable, different things, bro. Definitely adorable. All right, so look, I've been working on setting up this My Hub app for you. You can actually access it through the TV. Oh, that's what you've been working on. Yeah, look, it's a productivity app that I downloaded, all right? All right, now, it's still in beta, so there might still be some bugs, but it lets you keep track of all kinds of stuff from the same screen. Hey, good looking out, Rick. Yeah, so anytime you got something important to attend to, it'll be on this screen. I mean, season schedules, endorsement opportunities, important social messages. Yo, that's, that's dope, bro. I appreciate you setting that up. That's fire. Yeah, man. Now. You know, you'll actually have to play some real games to get endorsement opportunities and schedules, which actually brings me to my next point. Uh, you ever hear of someone named Chip Seymour? Chip Seymour. Yeah, yeah, he's on the flex, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think somebody had him tuned in at 98.9 at the park yesterday. Yeah, he's like the morning drive guy, but yeah. Look, check this out, man. Everyone in the city is talking about our newest resident MP. The basketball sensation who moved here to do uh, what exactly? He hasn't declared for college. He hasn't signed with the G League team. He hasn't done anything to prove he takes his basketball career seriously since winning a few games in high school against a bunch of future pickup ballers. Now I'm a fan of basketball, the sport, and it's played at the highest level in the NBA, not on social. So until MP starts doing something to prove he's serious about the game, I'm gonna keep on not caring about what he does. Disagree with me? Give us a call and we'll talk about it. You're listening to Chip Samuel on 98.9.
the flex. Okay, so some boomer on the radio don't get what we about. What's new, Rick? All right, that dude is a clown, yes, but look, he's right about this, bro. Like, you gotta make a decision soon, or the public perception of you is gonna shift in a way that even I'm not gonna be able to fix. I hear you. I don't get why we're procrastinating on this decision, bro. Like, ain't the, ain't the, ain't it. Ain't this everybody's dream to play ball professionally? Like, every little boy's dream when they was like five years old and we just procrastinating, like, we got a chance to, like, do it and we don't know how to make a decision. Like, I understand, like, it's tough, right? You don't know if you want to go to the G League or college, right? But, like, you've had enough time to know what you're going to do. And, um... You've had enough time, bro. You're, you're just being a little immature and a little, being a little baby baby, right? Like, you just want an easy life, right? You don't want to make the tough decisions. I get it. I get it. I understand. Everybody is like that at one point in time.